Well, g'day curd nerds. Welcome to day 10 of the Cheese A Day Challenge. And today's cheese is Riverina Dairy uh, Chili Halloumi. Now, I've taken the liberty of frying up the halloumi before we started, but this is what it looked like in the packet. So the ingredients of this cheese is uh, pasteurised cow's milk, salt, chilli flakes, non-animal rennet, mineral salt, uh, 509, ooh, not sure what that is, maybe calcium chloride, and cultures. Uh, contains milk. It says serving suggestions for best results, grill, pan fry or barbecue. And I have pan fried this cheese. The fat content is 25.6%. Uh, so, yeah, and uh, the company comes from uh, Al Albury. No, what is it? Yeah, Albury, New South Wales. Sorry about that. Had a bit of a brain fart there. Uh, Albury, New South Wales. So I fried up the halloumi. I noticed one thing when I was frying it up. Uh, it started to uh, lose a bit of the fat and it started to melt which is unlike the halloumi that I make where it stays quite firm but it's soft to touch whereas this is uh, even after it's been cooked uh, a lot softer than it was um, bef before I took it out of the packet if that makes sense also it was a little bit difficult to brown uh, one of the sides I don't know what the heck was going on there because every time I moved it the uh, brown coating that happens when you pan fry uh, came off so I don't know a lot of fat was starting to come out so I had maybe I just had to cut it short anyway so chili halloumi a bit of a novelty I think the uh, chili itself was not mixed through the milk or anything like that it was just simply placed on the outside um, pressed into the chili uh, by the looks of the backpacking because when I cut the cheese open there was no chili bits inside the cheese. So I think it was just on the outside and then they vac packed the, uh, in, in its container, uh, this container here, uh, vac packed it and uh, the chili would have infused into the cheese. Anyway, let's try some of this. I've got my knife and fork. I don't have any watermelon, unfortunately, because watermelon goes fantastically with halloumi. Um, because I ate it all last night. <laughs> I should have remembered that I was doing the taste test this morning. Um, anyway, let's try it. Mmm. The halloumi itself, salty, as you would expect for halloumi, which is really good. It's got a squeaky crunch, no, not a crunch, squeaky texture when you chew it. Um, a bit like squeaky curd cheese, uh, cheese curds, yeah, cheese curds. Um, that chili really does hit you, it's nice, it's got a strong flavour. Um, let's have another piece, very nice, I do like this. Mmm. Now that is a nice halloumi. Um, I've made a few myself, and this will be up on par with, with the ones that I've made. However, um, like I mentioned, it did start to lose a lot of the fat. As I was grilling, I didn't dare grill it any longer. It's got a nice chilli bite to it, which is what you want. You want to buy a chilli, and you want to have it to, a, a chilli halloumi. You want it to taste like a chilli. But all the good characteristics of the halloumi is there. Like I said, the squeakiness when you chew it, the uh, the salt hit as well, and there's some nice flavour through it as well. Uh, uh, the you know it doesn't take much to make halloumi. It's it's a very simple cheese. So if you haven't already tried to make it yourself, then uh, do yourself a favour and uh, check out the recipe at the info card, and uh, really give it a go. It's so simple to make. Uh, it's criminal. But uh, this version with the chilli on it, very nice. Mmm. I like it a lot. Now, I'm not going to finish all this, of course. Just that one. Mmm. I 
I do love the squeaky chew of, of halloumi. It's really nice. This is uh, a very nice cheese. Now, I forgot to mention how much you got for your bang for your buck. Uh, 180 grams was in the packet, and it costs uh, $6, and I got it from Woolworths. So, um, so fairly cheap, uh, uh, and, and for a local cheese, it's quite nice. I really do like it. Great flavours, robust. It's got a really nice chilli flavour, and I'm a bit of a wuss when it comes to that sort of thing, but uh, yeah, not to worry about that. Uh, it is a nice flavour. I think Kim will really like this as well. Um, we're going to have some of this for our dinner with our uh, salad. So it'll be a nice compliment to uh, any salad. I'll just chop it up into little bits and uh, it should be right to go. Anyway, if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up uh, and share it on uh, all forms of social media. Uh, of course, uh, there'll be another video tomorrow uh, and the video tomorrow will be uh, Danish feta. Uh, I've had many questions about f different types of feta and this one's made in Denmark. I think it's probably more of a white cheese. Feta is an AOC cheese uh, and it's uh, rigorously guarded uh, by the Greeks so uh, I don't know how they can get away with calling it feta but uh, yeah we'll check it out and see what it tastes like. Anyway that's tomorrow's cheese. Don't forget if you want to buy kit supplies and equipment to make your own cheese um, as many of the videos are featured on this channel then pop over to littlegreenworkshops.com.au Anyway, thanks for watching Curd Nerds and I'll see you tomorrow.